a great route runner has got to do one thing, and that's separate. And so you can do it two ways. You can either run faster than the player covering you, or you can stop faster. So who can stop, start, and then stop again? Those are the great route runners. A great route runner, in my opinion, separates in a way that's fundamentally and physically sound. Oh my God, I made him fall. He's stumbling like that. Understanding defenses, understanding the time that the quarterback has to hold the ball in his hand. You've got to make sure that you get your route done. It might have been the 10 yard route, now it's an eight yard route. Being quarterback friendly. What a route, great job of cutting it short. It's the precision, the timing, the, the change in the speeds, the deception, the explosiveness out of the cut, and, you know, being able to set up the defender to create separation. It's like and one mixtape. Oh, baby! My godson with the crossover! Who's the best route runner that you've ever seen? Ever seen? Yeah. Hey! Come on! Ocho Cinco. I want you right now. Right All right. That's why I need you. I think he started something very different with his releases. And you have somebody that can make things look like one thing and run the opposite direction. All that plays into a big part of being a good route runner. Is that an in or out route? No, it was an in. I tried to make you think out, though. But there's one current receiver whose hip drops make Chad's tears drop. Devontae Adams just sent me some footage. Like it wasn't even, it wasn't even route running like that. It was hard. It's virtually impossible for any corner to stop Adam. He's going like this. Nice. Come on. <laughs> There's multiple portions of the route. The release, the stem of the route, and the top of the route. Once you become good at those three areas, then there's an element of savvy that you start putting in there. Devante learned how to do that really well. He's at such a different level. Don't feel bad. That's happened to a lot of DBs. I think Stefan Diggs is a perfect example of a great route runner. He's not the fastest guy, but he has great footwork. He can get in and out of his breaks. Diggs, his transition skills are so good. Stephon Diggs could stop on a dime. I mean, he could put his foot in the ground at any moment and pull out of a route. What a route by Stephon Diggs. He's got such incredible uh, route craft, and he's so competitive within that. Subtle little out. Here we go up the field. Just creating magic. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Elite route runners are very predictable for the quarterback. Second, you say elite route runner right now in the game, I think of Travis Kelsey. There's guys who break you off, and there's guys who have that connection with the quarterback, knowing where they're supposed to be. The man to man stuff looks cool on like Instagram, but really, when you can make some good route running techniques, is in that zone. Knowing when to sit it down, knowing when to slide a little bit. Travis has got it all. Travis can run, Travis has got it. the hips, the core strength. And he's got great hands. Cooper Cup is very deceptive. He's very elite in running those option routes and being crappy with those routes. Oh, boy. That's pretty. His wiggleness, they able to give you different moves at the top of his routes. I should have seen what Cooper did. Side-stepping, buckled it, put him on his ass. Receivers have to have a great engine. You know, they got to have that Porsche engine, but they got to have a great set of tires. You know, they got to be able to stop on a dime. My goodness. I mean, how do you cover that? There's no single straight line path to determining what makes a great route runner. Oh, 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 oh somebody hurt. Oh, now further that pass, I already break your ankles on the route. The hardest receivers to cover aren't always the fastest. It's the ones that know how to use a hand or a hip or a head nod to get free. 
And there are some technicians in the current game that can even rival the all-time greats. To me, Keenan Allen is one of the premier route runners that's played in the last decade. Got voodoo at the top of the route. It can make you believe something that isn't true. He's 6'3". So for him to do what he does at that size, I think is really rare. He's doing some things where you like, oh, I gotta be, I gotta be ready to go this week because I can really get shook off the line. The release with Keenan Allen, he wins right off the line, and that's stealing. Eyes, you know, the great ones use their eyes really well, their head fakes and things like that. He looks inside, and Darius Slate thinks he's gonna run an inside cut, and then he winds up breaking to the outside. The illusion of thinking he's going somewhere that he's not, that makes a great route runner. My man playing press over here, so I'm going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going go over go. here. Yeah, I'm going over here. <laughs> Justin, so much impresses me about his route running ability. A lot of receivers can't stand for defensive backs to be in their face, but Justin, he embraces that. He's almost like a fish. You, you know, you ever try to take a fish off a hook, you know, and try to grab it by the body, it's, it's almost impossible. He's just too loose. My gosh, man. We can't let 18 get loose. It is unbelievable to watch him run off the football. When that ball is snapped, it's spectacular just to watch him cover ground, but then just effortlessly make a break or a cut in full stride. Gets defenders to fly off of him at the top of the route. It's really something. It is an art form. I think there's a lot to it. You know, it's not one thing. But beyond that, then when it's all said and done, it'd really be nice if he caught the ball. <laughs> that helps too. <laughs>